Today I'm going to teach you how to edit a regular photo into a pinup photo. We're going to do some airbrushing. First thing we're going to do is recenter our subject and then select all the areas around the subject. It takes a little time, it takes me about 30 minutes I would say to get this model perfectly cropped. The next thing we'll do is select inverse and we'll make a new layer via copy. So now um, we'll rename that to like model or pinup model and then you'll be able to see that you've got her selected without the background. And we're going to make a background layer underneath and we'll call that color background. And then you can pick whatever color you want really and use the paint bucket. I wanted to pick like a neutral creamy color and then I'll just paint the entire background with that color for starters. And then after I do that, I'm going to um, go to Camera Raw Filter. There's a really cool, on the, the FX button, there's a really cool way to vignette it. And then I'm going to manually add a vignette with some white paint and some dark colors also to enhance it. I'm going to create a white layer behind that. That way I can um, change the opacity of the color and just play with it a little bit easier. Then we're going to liquefy and tailor her suit and her or her dress rather than her hair. Then the last thing we're going to do is, one of the last steps is airbrushing highlights onto a new layer. So we're going to airbrush her face, her arms, everything, her outfit. We're going to really want it to be contrasty and shiny. It gives it that airbrush pinup look. The stockings, the legs, every little shine that you can imagine with an pants. I basically paint over white wherever I see a highlight. I go back through the hair and then you can just click back and forth off and on the highlight layer to see the progress that you're making and make sure it's giving you the look you want. Then we're going to maybe adjust the model saturation. So we want her to be a little warmer um, in color, maybe a little more saturated. You might up the reds. And then the final step is adding a shadow layer. So you'll make a new layer and then I always go back to the original and have paint over that since it's going to be hidden anyway to get a, a very authentic looking shadow. And once you do that, you want to click back and forth to kind of make sure it's looking accurate and race and blend. It takes some time, but it makes it so worth it in the end. They're really awesome result that looks to me like a more authentic kind of a connection with the actual photo.